This is how you wire an ARGB fan to a PC without ARGB headers. So how do you achieve this? It's pretty simple really. All we need is to connect our 5 volt and ground of the ARGB wire to our PSU. Of course, we will be doing some wire splicing. So go ahead with this if you know what you're doing and be careful. Now with the ARGB wire, you can see there's an arrow that shows where the 5 volt is. The middle pin is our data and the last pin is ground. Now that we know that, we're going to do a connection like this. I'm using jumper wires to be able to connect and disconnect the power from PSU if I need it in the future. As we don't need the data pin, we can just secure the middle wire uh, with electrical tape or heat shrink. After we're done, uh, it should look something like this. I've added heat shrink on all the wires to secure them properly. After that's done, we need to splice the wires from our PSU. What I recommend is using one of these Molex to a SATA connector or like a male to female Molex connector so that you don't have to mess up with your PSU's wiring. So this is what uh, the connection should look like from our Molex to the jumper pin. We're using the 5 volt and the ground from Molex. We're not going to be using the other two wires, which are our 12 volt and ground. So you need to secure them carefully and make sure there's no short circuit. Be extremely careful. Now that everything is done, all we need is to connect our Molex to our PSU. And then finally, connect both of our jumper cables together. Then turn on the PC and see if it works. Well, it works. So, 